he would say, every time I had a little issue, he would say, opportunity knocks, inbox, Janet box. <laughs> so, all right, you say it. I'll count to three and you say it. Are you ready? One, two, three. Opportunity knocks, inbox, Janet box. No, oh, wait, that's my name. <laughs> I gave you some bad instructions there. Let's say your name is that. I'll say mine. There's no rhyming. Garbage, garbage. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say it the right way now, okay? Don't tell anybody that's how I learned to teach in teaching education schools, okay? One, two, three. Opportunity knocks, in walks, having a choice. I guarantee that the sun is happening inside your bodies when you said those words. What was it? Something happened. You felt something. What was it? Invigorating. Invigorating, yes. Another, oh, we're down to four. I had a whole, whole, whole bunch of them. All right, invigorating. What else happened inside your body? Empowered. Empowered, yes. What else? Somebody, who said that? Okay, Shoshona. Is that, is that Shoshona from Germana? My daughter, my granddaughter's looking at Germana. Oh, just, yeah. I just wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> she said confidence, and I didn't even have to say it. You just felt it. And so I want you to hear that voice in your ear, too. Do you have a voice in your ear from somebody else along the way? Exactly. So that's how it happened. I just walked. So now I want to do a little test. If you're speaking in front of a crowd, both of the speakers that we had before did this. Three of the speakers that we did with, we had did this. I want to know if I gave you what's called a phenomenal logical experience. Go ahead, try to say that. <laughs> <laughs> it took a whole week for me to learn how to say that. There were two meals. So it means that if I tell you my story, like I'm feeling it as it happened. If I show you the mood that I'm in when I tell that story, you feel it in your bellies too. Mm -hmm. It's magic. Didn't we feel them today? So what did you feel for me when I showed you my radio house? Fast. What did, compassion. What, compassion. What did you feel for me when I showed you my pretty mama? For a quick minute, <laughs> you went, oh, right, oh. And then when I said that word, what was the word? Abusive. 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 How did you feel for me then? Angry. Exactly. Angry. And I know beyond a shadow of a doubt that there are women sitting right here among us today who know exactly what that word means. And that memory just rushed right back into your heads. And you're not going to let it get you down for another minute of life. And then what did you feel for me when I showed you my sweet old Aunt Lottie? Happiness, and when I told you I was Michelle McCullough and Janet, and I know you laugh. <laughs> what did you feel for me? And when I when I told you I ended up on Channel 9 News. Proud. 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 So I'm gonna I'm going to I'm going to confess something. I made you feel those things on purpose. And I designed what I wanted you to feel. Because A, I wanted you to like me. <laughs> But because that's what you have to do to the people in front of you. You have to make them feel something. is the fastest way to a boss changing his mind or a board saying you're the one. Does that decision come through the head or does it come through the heart? Well, it comes through the heart. Oh, yes, we do all the facts and figures and features and figure all that out ahead of time. But that last decision that puts you up through the glass ceiling that they're making has to come through the heart. So unless you speak your story about who you are and what you're doing and why you're doing it, sooner or later, that's the only way you get through the hole or the curtain.